the intake pipes and everything for intercooler and the, the radiator and the radiator holes and pipes as much as possible to see what I miss what I need for parts and pipes and all sort of things so I will know what parts I need to buy next to get one step further I probably gonna need to uh, disassemble take out the engine and transmission I guess usually how it goes when you think you're done you're there's something you forget anyways this point and I see that I need to buy actually I'm waiting for alloy uh, tube uh, with a T in it so I can connect the dump valve I'm, <laughs> I, I did order it from Amazon uh, but I do not know when it's gonna show up may take a while I figured I might just buy another one of this just a straight pipe and silicone rubber hose to connect it to and then not run, not yet run uh, dump valve, which is here. And I also need to find out where I can fit the filter. I am also waiting for, gonna run some lines from, from the head of the engine to the catch tank. And also from here, from this, to the catch tank. And I think that's about it.
this is probably gonna be uh, the setup how the pipe is gonna go this is gonna be it i'm gonna paint this black i think like i did with this one kind of look cool in this white gray color not sure um the air filter i kind of would like it to sit like this but then it's gonna be pushed down uh, by the bonnet I think we're gonna find a way to uh, hold it like this maybe just put a couple of zip ties or the next thing I have to do to change out these uh, connectors for the, the fuck I forgot what it's called the connectors for the injectors uh, these are for EV1 I think EV1 connectors I have to change them out to Remember, maybe this was EV6 or have those in the in the back. So need to you know, connect the fuel line. Uh, I ordered weld, what's called weld bungs for the wideband lambda. Probably gonna get this tomorrow. Today is Thursday. I'm able to pick this up on Friday. I think that's it for today. So see you tomorrow. So. Next day, today is Friday, picked up some parts without further ado. fuel cell. Latches or hood latches. This is how it looks. Let's see if we can focus on this. This is how it looks. You press the top of uh, the top of the top, the top of the latch, and it pops up like this. And maybe the best thing about this is they make a very satisfying click.
not the throttle body, but like this edge of the intake manifold is touching like this part of the bonnet. So I think I'm gonna call it a day tomorrow the welding of the wideband bunk thing see you tomorrow Well, these two. That's it for this video, um, thank you for watching, see you again next time.